Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have the uh, uh, 5e character sheet. I'm going to be making some 5e characters um, for some players, well, uh, for some games I have upcoming. Uh, we might make some pregens, but uh, I'm going to focus more on the kind of story stuff than kind of while I'm typing in all the sort of boring stuff. Um, they're just going to be level ones. I think we're going to make three. Um, and then probably tomorrow I'm going to do another one of these, but instead I will do, instead I will um, be making uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord characters, which will also let you guys kind of see how that works. Because um, I know a lot of people have sort of seen how cool the system is and want to get in on it. And uh, so yeah, this is a kind of a test run for this kind of format, I guess. Um, don't know how well it's going to work on this computer, but we'll fucking see, won't we? Um, so, um, first off, um, uh, yeah, the first I want to make is uh, a wizard, because I um, don't play that many wizards. I tend to prefer warlocks, so let's just I <laughs> why not just make a wizard? Um, and th these are all just gonna be level ones. I think I said that. So go for there. Um, and I'm also gonna be using the what I well the way I see it there's got massive dice next to me. The way I see it there's a few schools of thought kind of thing when it comes to making characters, uh, stats wise. So, if you're playing online, it's kind of hard not to just use 27.5 because you're not with the people when they're building their characters. Obviously, if it's people you trust and you game with all the time, then, you know, using dice is cool. But we are not using uh, four dice drop one. We are using just 3d6. And the other cool thing is, um, we're not allocating these. Um, whatever we roll is what we get. Um, this is something I really like doing because it means you know you kind of have to work on you know making your character better as you go. And I kind of like the idea that you know if you make a fighter, they're not necessarily going to be the like strongest guy. And they may have to train because, like level one, you're basically just still, you know, a peasant, and you've got some minor ability over the average person. So to have it kind of where you don't get to choose what you're born with, you know, maybe you end up with a stupid wizard, and you've got to kind of train him up. You know, and I uh, just I think it, it's fun, um, and we'll see how it works. So you guys won't be able to see my dice rolls unless I move my camera, but I can't be bothered for that. I also um, kind of weird about dice. I can never roll three of the same colored dice. I always have to have different ones, or they will have to be the same. So, like, I can't have like two of one. Oh, whatever. I'm just being weird. Uh, oh, okay. So for strength, first up, uh, we have a twelve. Dex. Oh, he's not very dexterous. Uh, literally the same roll with the same numbers, 6, 2, and 1. That is uh, weird. Int. Okay, not bad. Uh, Eleven wisdom. And uh, a eleven charisma. So it's kind of an all rounder. Um, So, what I kind of like about oh jeez, uh, what I kind of like about this is you then kind of have you know why is he strong or why is he just as strong as he is intelligent 
and kind of how can we use that to give him sort of a cool strategy so maybe he's more of a battle wizard kind of guy more of a hands on kind of beat down rather than someone who stands back obviously the problem you have there is uh, his hit points which are going to be 5 because we get 6 plus our constitution modifier so 5 hit points uh, that'll be fine um, and yeah hit dice 1d6 so I think he's definitely some kind of uh, sort of stand back well, actually I shouldn't have done hit points really should I, I should pick his race first uh, well, normally I would pick the race before rolling the stats because then again if you're like oh I haven't got any wisdom you know you'll make him a thing but I was already going to make him a half elf um, just because that's the kind of plan I had um, where is here we go so size yeah there we Dark Vision. Uh, I just write the titles for the racial stuff because I pretty much know what they do and I know how to look it up. Uh, proficiency in two skills. I don't know why we already have stealth selected, but I think. Okay, so he's. I think our guy is maybe. Um, he's a town guard because he's kind of strong. So I think he's a town guard, and he kind of all of a sudden realised he had this magical potential, which I think would mean he'd have intimidation, because um, he's you know being a kind of muscly guy, um, and all right, I'm gonna roll a d6 to decide that. Okay, uh, and acrobatics. So that's kind of him. I think running and doing chases through the street sort of thing, uh, jumping over stuff and uh, he's you know, maybe a bit quicker than uh, his level 1 so he gets plus 2 proficiency bonus um, and he can speak uh, common, elvish, elish, elish and what other language So I like him being able to speak Draconic, um, which he's kind of learning as he kind of gets with the magic. Uh, oh, I missed this. There we go. Charisma plus two. So our charisma becomes a thirteen. Uh, we get a plus one to that, and then two others get a plus one. So I think I'm good at Constitution, and I will give it to Intelligence. Which will mean we have six hit points. Okay. Um, so, um, from there we just do his proficiencies, which should be fine. So we got daggers, darts, slings. I mean, this is really matter for a wizard, but you never know. Maybe for our fighty one, so we have wizard, intelligent wisdom, uh, arcana, history, insight, investigation, medicine, religion. Uh, so I think he's just kind of one of those naturally curious people, plus he's you know got some kind of magical skill. So I think arcana and history. So he's kind of curious and reads a lot in his spare time. Hence his wizardiness. And I'm just going to open up. Something that I made in the middle of the night. Which is an incomplete thing. Because uh, I'm missing out the classes. Um, but I'm just going to look for one of these names. There's three eyes in that name. I need to read this one. Cocken. I must have been. <laughs> I'm assuming it was very late. I'm just highlighting all the mistakes. 
from one three. Um, Adele. Apostrophe D. That is a great freaking name. Right there. Chod. This is the worst list I've ever read. Surname. So, what could his first name be? Oh, oops. Uh, why am I open this back up? Um, oh shit! I've just lost all that. Anyway. No, we're good. Sweet. Uh, that's why I like about this uh, this app. Okay. Um, so his name, uh, okay, I've got a name, Gage, um, Gage Tayek, okay, that, that's a powerful name, do this, uh, later. It's a minus one to initiative. Um, okay. So, equipment, what do we have? Uh, he has dagger, not a quarter star. Component with departure, arcane focus. I think arcane focus. And I'm going to roll on the trinket table for some ideas. I won't necessarily use what I roll. Um, but it just you know, gives you some better ideas for potential things. Uh, 47. A metal can that has no opening but sounds as if it is filled with some kind of liquid sand spiders or broken glass there. That's not really happening. 56. An old key. Potentially it could be a sort of simple 84. Receipt. No. Some of these are better than others. Uh, a pair of old socks. Geez, I'm getting great ones. 25. Tiny silver icon of a raken. A raken? A raven. That's a better one. Let's do one more. Uh, uh, roll again. Three. Ooh, three. Uh, a gold coin minted in unknown land. No, obviously, I know it's meant to be uh, a wand, but. I like flavoring things differently. <laughs> I'll do some more. I like rolling on these tables. Old chess piece made of glass. Okay. Oh, pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm just reading it. Um. <laughs> I guess I trap whenever I'm on the table. Um, but I saw a hilt from a broken sword, and I really like that. So he's got, I think, kind of looks like um, the, oh, this is where I fucking lose so many nerd points, but um, it's like the, the broken sword in Lord of the Rings, the name escapes me, but when it's broken he just uses it as a dagger. Um, that kind of thing. Um, and, um, so I think he's got that, and he sort of, the, the pummel has some kind of gem in it, that kind of thing, or potentially his dagger there is the arcane focus. Um, so, I'm just going to put, oh, jeez, um, he'll... So 
so it's kind of like um so you know when he's casting spells potentially maybe he grips it or maybe he can just cast spells as long as he has it on his person that kind of thing um scholars pack or explorers pack i always just go with explorers just because it's just got you know generally the best stuff in it i find and a spell book so there's all the rules on your spell book i'll i generally make a note of them but i'm not going to write them down um okay but let's let's look at the spells i need to save it without the Okay. Um, spell save DC is eight plus two plus uh, one. So uh, okay. Cantrips. We know three cantrips and have two first level spell slots. I think one of the first things that he'd end up kind of learning would be something really simple. So I think light, because I think he's kind of, that was like the first thing he kind of figured out when he had magical abilities, which he was like, I can cast light, like this is crazy uh, kind of thing. And you know, he was casting on objects and sort of realizing his potential. And then I think the light sort of he figured out how to cast the spell but make it more intense and hotter fireball Let's see what I did there uh, I didn't even freaking plan that I'm lazy <laughs> um, and then oh, where's the spells and everything um, Intelligence modifier plus wizard level. Okay, so we get two first level spells. So let's see. Uh, I think I think magic missile, thunder wave, witch bolt, mage armor, or find familiar. With the mage armor, because he's kind of more of a fighty kind of mage. Um, hopefully, he'll get a weapon at some point. And I think find familiar, because I think the way it works, or I think for him, he kind of um, he would just, you know. Once he got going, had a spell book, all that kind of thing, um, and he, you know, was a sort of getting into the full blown magic game. I think um, he kind of found um, this sort of magic uh, and was able to sort of um, what well, read about finding a familiar and that kind of that whole sort of situation. And from then on, he uh, sort of was able to just be like, uh, or to pick one sort of thing and actually do it. Um, because I think he just sort of read about it and was like, oh, that's cool. Because um, I think that's the kind of person he is. He's kind of inquisitive. Um, I think he's lonely. Um, I think because he's, he's not very good at strength. He's not very strong. He's not very quick. He's alright, uh, comparatively, but the other people were all kind of more physical than him, and he was in a physical profession, but not really doing physical things. So maybe he kind of was a bit more introverted, and so learned about getting familiar as a friend, and decided that he was into that. So, fought familiar. Let's have a look. Get the list that you can have. Uh, I vaguely know it. Find the spell. Uh, uh, 
find familiar. Bat, crab, bat, cat, crab, frog, or toad, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poisonous snake, fish, rat, raven, seahorse, spider, or weasel. I always wondered how it would work if you had a sea creature. Um, I am leaning towards the snake or the weasel. Uh, let's roll for it. Uh, one to three, the snake. That's a three. Okay, we have the snake. So uh, I'm just, I always put that in here just because then it's there. So it just does a bite and poison damage. Um, I think in an ideal world, I would like it to be one of the flying snake things. But um, I don't know, maybe he learns to augment it, depending on the DM. Um, but I also, I also like just having these kind of guys as uh, NPCs, because once you've created them as a character, and you kind of come up with a bit of a story. If you just, you can just, you know bring this guy out and you automatically know all his story and that kind of thing, you don't have to spend time coming up with it. He's got a snake uh, and it's called So one level of slots, but there you go. Um, Alright, let's do the background and everything now. So, uh, we said guard. It's time guard, time for a uh, guard. So, we be soldier. but I think that's soldier. roll for these, I guess. Uh, seven. Crude sense of humor. That's fine. Because uh, normally I just pick them based on what I, where I want the character to go, but uh, we're doing it live. I was 
foreign would be neutral, but I'm not doing that. Bond B6 3. My honor is my life. That is interesting. That's not something that I would think about with this character. But then to work that in. Oh, is it is AC's nine as well? <laughs> um flaws. Six. I'd rather eat my armor than admit when I'm wrong. Plus he doesn't have armor. Okay, so I kind of like these two together. Because it kind of gives this sort of stubborn, righteous kind of guy. So maybe he joined as a soldier, kind of wanting to do good. Uh, and then he was kind of put on guard duty, and everyone kind of hated him. Or he didn't really talk to anyone. Um, and I think his his familiar is kind of the, the other half of him, and it kind of gets him to be more outgoing. Um, and kind of funny. Um, Um, so yeah, I think we'll just quickly pencil in a backstory. Um, he used to be a time guard, um, joined up to make a better place, but was introverted. he started realizing he has uh, magic, he sort of felt that it was being wasted and that kind of thing. So he, uh, I think, uh, sort of left and uh, tried to use his talents, or was trying to use his talents to make the world a better place elsewhere. Um, and then one. I'm just going to, while I'm remembering, because uh, I have it saved, and I accidentally saved it with these like spell slots and stuff in. Get rid of those. I keep these, uh, these up top, because when I play one shots, usually I just NA them XP. Okay, so I'll save that. saved right and get rid of this and this right uh, next I wanted to make a uh, let's not make a caster let's make a barbarian or a fighter let's see uh, let's make a barbarian But this one uh, is for a game I have coming up, upcoming home, uh, and I think we're supposed to start at like 
10th or 11th level. Uh, let me just double check here. So we could roll for stats, so I will. Uh, yeesh, okay. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Nine in strength. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> Seven decks. Thirteen constitution at least. and wiser than he's strong. And 11 charisma. That is not stats you would expect to see from Barbarian. Um, our Barbarian is going to be a variant human. Uh, so, we get two ability scores to increase. I'm sure you can guess the two. Um, in a skill. We'll already get that. Let's go for something like deception, maybe. Um, and we get a feat, which I will come back to. We'll just put that there to remind myself. Okay. So, uh, let's start. We get Resilience, very good as well. Um, tough, potentially. Uh, also, like Savage Attacker, which is very good with Barbarians, but I think, yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll go tough. we get an extra twice our level when we gain the feat, which isn't, well, yeah, so that would be level one, uh, so we get two, I mean, we could do it so that we get it at level eight or whatever and get an extra 16, uh, in fact, yeah, I'll probably do that, seeing as I'm leveling up all at once, could have, you know, these can be a very weak character, so we could have, uh, given them, you know, what we can. Um, so the first feat we'll give them then, uh, we'll give them
Yeah, I think she's. I'm actually going to go with Great Weapon Master. Um, which gives us. and intimidation I'll choose. Uh, which 
Eric Star uh, bonus damage, which at level ten is three. Uh, oh, how many times can we rage? Defense ten nine ten. Wow. That's gonna be a problem. Um but we'll sort out. Reckless attack. I just abbreviate everything because I <laughs> I know what it means. Uh gives us frenzy so we can uh, uh, I'm just making some mindless uh, Intimidating. Uh, use your action to frighten someone. Uh, eight. DC ten. Fair enough. That's pretty terrible, but oh well. Okay, but we also get ability score improvement, which we will use, and we also get uh, uh, we also get it at eighth, uh, and I'm just going to use it again, I think. feels necessary. Uh, I'm gonna I'm worried about this. Let's go for our instinct. Brutal critical. Um, for one extra damage. So we've got a real problem with the AC. So I might, I might go back and uh, just swap maybe decks and something else, or look at twenty-seven point buy uh, because apparently this is going to be a pretty brutal game. Um, okay. As for a name. 
Um, I think I have an idea for this character, and it's quite funny. Uh, I think. Um, oh yeah, plus I have four human units. Um, I'm still doing it this time. because he was strong when he was a boy and so they just said he was a goat and that's all he remembers his name as because I think he was cursed by some kind of witch um, and so has a uh, severe hatred of them um, but I am actually going to end this video here uh, without doing his uh, backstory stuff um, because uh, I just need to go really uh, because I have uh, things to do and I mistimed this because I spent so much time on the first one but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you whenever I see you <laughs>